Dr. Julie Schell from Bobon Veterinary Hospital. And today I would like to talk about some of the safety needs when you are working with essential oils in animals. You want to make sure that they are having fun and that it is safe and enjoyable for the pet as well as very effective. And so some simple things that we do is we like to dilute the oils. We never like to use oils neat. So I don't just like open up a container of oil and drip it on the pet. We actually dilute it. It's often like a 10 milliliters of the V6 to one milliliter of the essential oil. And V6 is a mixture of six different vegetable oils. And we use the one from Young Living, but it's very safe. It's non-toxic, it's even edible. Um, so it's very safe. And so when we dilute them, they're inside of a little container like this. And so when we do a raindrop using the diluted oils, we will often go and do a test patch first, just make sure that the pet doesn't mind that and just kind of apply that and just see what happens over a few seconds and um, see what happens. And then you can actually um, put some on your hand and do the massage method. And that's also a very um, safe method. So it's like you massage the oil into your hand and then gently stroke the pet with the oil and just let them kind of come and smell. It's very, very strong in aroma for a dog because their sense of smell is like a thousand times greater than a human's. And so you want to kind of introduce them slowly. Most of my patients have already experienced essential oils in the form of diffusers. We actually have our diffusers running all the time in our um, hospital and in the different rooms. It helps disinfect the air. It makes the air smell so good and it's like aromatherapy, so it calms the animal. Right now we have some lavender that's inside of the diffuser and it's really good. Um, the oils that I don't like using on pets topically are definitely tea tree oil. I don't like it if an animal drinks it or licks it because there has been a few toxicities. It's very rare, very rare, but I don't like to take risks. So if I'm using tea tree, I'll often really, really heavily dilute it, even more than a 10 to 1, or I'll use it in a diffuser situation so the animals can like smell it just for short periods of time but not necessarily put on their skin. And so um, the other thing that we'll do to make the oils a lot safer and um, usable for many patients is put them in the spray version. So this is done with spray water and, like in the form of tea. So we will add like tea as well as different essential oil mixtures that are inside these spray bottles. And it's very, very safe and fun. Um, and so the important thing too is to talk to your veterinarian before using any essential oils. There's a lot of excellent training that veterinarians can receive. Um, Dr. Mrs. Shelton has done a lot of work um, with essential oils, and there's a really good textbook that she has produced, and um, I really like her website. It's called oilyvet.com. It's very, very helpful, and there's some really nice courses that you can take that help um, introduce the safety of oils. And online, like, there's a lot of, like, PubMed research, so you can actually look at the latest scientific articles that talk about the benefits of essential oils. And, and it talks about any new toxicities that have been developing or any like really good benefits that are developing as we do more and more research. So if you have any questions, please give us a phone call at 403-278-1984. And definitely check out our website at www.bobodyvet.com. Thank you very much.